What we'll now do is ask the question of how can we formulate area, the notion of area, this abstract idea, into an operation that we can perform on vectors or some type of object we're familiar with in order to get a language that's actually fruitful. So we want to develop a language on vectors or on some type of objects that furnish an understanding of what area is. So let's consider the vector v, which is the vector 1, 2, and the vector u, which is given by 2, 1. What we can, of course, do is translate v to the endpoint of u and u to the endpoint of v and form this parallelogram. Whatever is within the confines of these vectors will be the area. Now, of course, from kindergarten linear algebra, we know that the area of this parallelogram is just going to be given by the determinant of the matrix whose columns are given by u and v, but we'd like to express that in an operation. We would like to know whether we can actually construct an operation on vectors such that if we take a vector u, take a vector v, apply this operation, it gives us the area of the parallelogram. This will be a key step in the development of this formalism. So let's assume we have such an operation. We'll denote it by this wedge symbol here. So by u wedge v, we're going to mean the area of the parallelogram formed by u and v. To get an understanding of exactly what properties this operation would have, what we'll do is we'll write u as a i plus b j and v as c i plus d j. Now the wedge of u and v is then just a i b j wedge c i plus d j. We'll assume that it's distributive so we can foil it out in the sense that we'll now have a i wedge c i plus d j plus b j wedge c i plus d j. And then this would further expand to AC I wedge I plus AD I wedge J plus BC J wedge I plus BD J wedge J. Now, I wedge I is the area of the parallelogram formed with I in itself, and J wedge J is the area of the parallelogram formed with J in itself. But that's just the area of a line, which of course is zero. So now what we can do from what we've just calculated is that in this u wedge v calculation, the first term and the last term, which are the i wedge i and j wedge j terms, are both zero. What we're now left with, therefore, is that u wedge v is ad i wedge j plus bc j wedge i. And now we want to understand how does this wedge operation behave if we switch the order. So what is the difference between i wedge j and j wedge i? So we'll recall that i wedge i and j wedge j, well, they're areas of lines, so they're going to be zero. And in particular, I can consider the parallelogram formed with i plus j and itself. Again, that's just going to be the area of a line, so it will also be zero. So we have that zero is equal to i plus j wedge i plus j. Expanding this out, we get i wedge i plus j plus j wedge i plus j, which we further expand to i wedge i plus i wedge j plus j wedge i plus j wedge j. This is exactly what we did before. Again, the first term and the last term will cancel, and we see that 0 is equal to i wedge j plus j wedge i. In other words, we get the following anti-symmetric property, which is that i wedge j is equal to minus j wedge i. So when we switch the order with respect to this wedge operation, we pick up a minus sign. So now if we return to our calculation here, namely that u wedge v is ad i wedge j plus bc j wedge i, then switching the order, expressing everything in terms of i wedge j, we get ad i wedge j minus bc i wedge j, which of course we can just write as ad minus bc i wedge j. But that's exactly what the determinant of a two by two matrix is if the matrix is a, b, c, d. So this wedge operation gives us exactly what we wanted. We want the area of the parallelogram formed by the vectors u and v. Now this operation on vectors is well known. It's known as the wedge product. So the defining properties of the wedge product are that if we wedge something with itself, we get zero. That's because it's the area of a line. The parallelogram formed by a vector in itself is going to be a line with area zero. And it has the following anti-symmetry property, which is that u wedge v is minus v wedge u.